so you are presenting new painting here. Could you speak about your paintings? Sure. Uh, the body of work is titled Verde, uh, and it's a it's a series of paintings of uh, family members and friends uh, that are in gardens uh, or within proximity to green space to green life. Uh, the paintings are painted on adobe surfaces. On what? Adobe surfaces. Ah, adobe. Adobe. Adobe is like a, a, a mud-based building material that's very common in many dry, arid areas throughout the globe. In Mexico? Mexico, the southwest in the U.S., the Middle East. Um, and Joseph Albers, you know this painter? He, he did a whole series of abstract painting called the adobe. Ah, beautiful. Um, so I've been using adobe, um, this practice of working with my father that I inherited from him, to collaborate with a lot of um, brown, like Latinx artists um, in the U.S. and Los Angeles um, to build collaborative projects. So I've been literally rebuilding galleries with this material and then inviting other artists to show their work inside. And so. The work has evolved into a more personal and intimate practice now where I'm like making surfaces um, to bring my community into through painting. But why is it important to make portraits? Um, portraits are really important because for me it's like it's a way to still be connected to the community that I work with in other distinct ways um, and also like they're paintings that I feel like need to exist in the world. You know, I, the paintings, um, when you look at the paintings and you look at the adobe, it's, all of the painting, the entire surface of the adobe is painted. Um, yes. But the bodies themselves are the hue of the adobe. And so I'm letting the, the land and the ah. adobe be a stand in for people's bodies. And so having these bodies, these people, these friends and family members that have a relationship to all of the front histories and politics of land in terms of migration, in terms of displacement, in terms of colonization. And I you want come to, from Mexico? My parents come from Mexico. But you live in I live in, in Los Angeles. Um, and but so 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 this painting is supposed to be sold, right? So also portrait will be spread all over the world, right? Exactly. So they'll continue to migrate. They'll continue to travel around the world. Ah. Uh, but there is this inherent relationship that I want to make with these bodies, these very specific bodies that have like a history like mine of being a first generation Mexican-American uh, to the surface, to the land, to the actual material that is contested um, that our bodies are constantly under threat because of our relationship to space. Um, and so it's a very interesting and way of complicating um, not only like a history of painting in terms of who gets to paint, who gets to be painted, who gets a portrait taken of them uh, against a material that has already a lot of meaning with it. Merci, muchas gracias.